How's everybody doing? JP here to show you some more DVDs I just received. I kind of feel like doing a little update here. So, here we go. And besides, I haven't done a video in a, what, at least three weeks, I'd say. So, I would say you guys deserve something. Um, but the first one I got is The Wizard of Oz. Everybody has, if you have a collection, you probably have this. I never had it for some reason. So I decided to, um, just go ahead and see if I could find it cheap and buy it. It, it has a lot of features on it. Uh, it's, it's like, it's got all these. It's like, too many to read. But, let's open it and see what we got here. We got Dorothy saying, There's no place like home. And then we got her going, Follow the yellow brick road. And then we got him saying, I wish I had a brain. Ooh, who do we got next? Ooh, the ten man. Just two and then just three. I think I paid five bucks for this. You can see why though. It's a little, the outer box is a little bit tore up. It's you know it's it's fine though I, as long as it plays and it looks decent I guess um, it's got this stuff these like promo cards so yeah what's this um wait am I missing something here I don't know if it came with those are they maybe they're in I don't know who cares that's what that is Next DVD, A Christmas Too Many, starring Mickey Rooney, Sam McMurray, you know, from uh, Slappy and the Stankers, Baby Geniuses, Soccer Dog, uh, Getting Even with Dad, Raising Arizona, Christmas Vacation, and even Chud. I like that actor. It's got Gary Coleman as well, Andrew Keegan. Uh, Austin O'Brien, Clint Howard, they're all in here. And I watched this last night, and I thought it was pretty funny. I liked it. Um, so there's that. I think I paid two ninety nine with shipping, so with shipping, it was only $3. And I thought that was pretty good. I usually don't pay for the DVDs unless they're really cheap, because then I feel like I got gypped. But... A Dog of Flanders is next. Um, let's open this up. This is, you know, a snap case. I don't, a lot of people say they don't like these snap cases. I thought they were fine. I mean, except they do break easily if you drop them. Like, if you drop them once, it's probably going to break either here or here. Um, maybe here. But other than that, as long as you don't drop them, they'll be fine. But this was a pretty good movie. I like the original a bit better with uh, Theodore Beekel, or however you say that guy's name. Um, this one's pretty good, though. I liked it. And I just got done watching this. This was one I used to watch all the time. Uh, Napoleon. And after Napoleon Dynamite came out, I'm sure nobody... I mean, everybody just forgot about this Napoleon, but this is another movie with uh, that title. I mean, that was Napoleon Dynamite, but I it's like if something comes out with a similar title, people forget about the other one that came out earlier. And this is from, you know, MGM Movie Time. Um, it's kind of like, uh, what? What am I thinking of? The Adventures of Milo and Otis? It's similar to that. Um, but I really do like this movie. It's He wants to be a wild dog, so he... Uh, um, he gets in this basket, and he floats away, and he lands on an island-type place with the forest and everything, and... Why is that beeping? Stop beeping. Um, and he lives out there for a while, and then he realize, realizes that there's no place like home. So, and no, I didn't say that because of that. I just thought, of, I don't know. But it's a if you like if you like dogs 
you know, dogs, if you like dogs, you'll probably like this dog movie. Napoleon. So, it's from 95, I think. Maybe 94. I got a lot of Christmas movies and dog movies this time for some reason. Next one I got was I'll Be Home for Christmas. And I got this real cheap because it's cracked right down the um, disc right here. You can maybe see it right here. Luckily, it's it's not to here. If it's to here, I think that's where it'll start causing problems for everything. But, you know, just be careful taking it out, I guess. There's just a small crack there. Maybe, I, I, I've had discs that were cracked before, okay? And they usually don't start causing problems. I've never had one that causes problems before. I mean, and they've been cracked to about there, and I always, you know, and I'm not even careful taking them out. I just, you know, do that, and they never spread. So, hopefully this will be the same as those. We'll see. I'll tell you in five years. Um, Disney's I'll Be Home for Christmas. Jonathan Taylor is right there. Taylor Thomas, and uh, there's the chapters. I saw this a long time ago. I think he has to get home for Christmas, and... Everything goes wrong. Yeah. Typical Disney movie, I'm sure. Next one is... Air Bud. And... I would... You know... I would take this out and wear it. I'm not joking. But... The thing is... I'm afraid it's gonna break. So I'll just keep it in there. But... The only special feature... That is special about this edition... Is that... The original disc... Before this one I had a theatrical trailer. This has the theatrical trailer and uh dog ooh commentary with the buddies. Okay. And that's pretty much you know his kids. They they're air buddies and every you know, space buddies and treasure buddies and uh Santa buddies. I don't know the difference between that and snow buddies, but uh Spooky buddies, um, treasure buddies. It's like enough with enough with the buddies, okay? We got you know, um, mud bud and what gangster dog and ho dog and yo yo dog and uh, ice cream fat dog and uh, and uh, you know all the all the typical stereotypes and all that. Yeah, I, I admit it. I did sort of like Air Buddies, though. You know. But that's the only thing special about this edition, and you get this. I don't really think it's enough to really call it that, but whatever. Uh, but this, I, I don't know. I really do like this movie. It's a very good one. The Golden Receiver one was okay. I, I don't think I've seen any of the other ones, though. Next one is Firestarter. Um... I've never seen this movie, uh, so I'll watch it later, and you know we'll see. Next one, these are two I have not seen, and the next one is Commandments, starring Aiden Quinn and Courtney Cox. Not Courtney Cox, our cat, just Courtney Cox. Yeah, I don't know. I think he breaks all the Ten Commandments or something. I'm sure it'll be decent. Now, uh, the last one, I like wilderness movies. I said that before, so I got A Cry in the Wilderness starring George Kennedy going, yeah, yeah. and she's just going, hmm? Let's see, what else? What else? I don't know what they're doing back there. It's from Good Times. You know, they released the old, um, Universal released the two-pack of Problem Child, but they released the one-pack of the uh, first movie. Just the uh, one DVD. And, uh, what else? They also released, uh, Trespass, you know, the old DVD. It's funny. Good Times releases their old movies, um, from Universal. Like, I guess they wouldn't release them at the time. Like, you know, Judgment Night, Trespass, and all of a sudden, Universal wants to release them after they released them already. And they're the same DVD. I don't really see a point. I guess maybe just Universal wants to put their name back on them. But I don't see why that would be, because their their name is already on the front of the movie. When the movie starts, you know, their logo appears. I don't, I, I, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. 
but I haven't seen this one, so I'll watch it later and I'll see what I think. But that's all the movies, and you know, have a dong gong do good day, a dog gong good day, and uh, and make sure you watch Napoleon because it's a good movie. It's got the kid um, voicing Napoleon from Adam um, Adam Wiley, and uh, you know he was in he did the voice for uh, uh, the kid in All Dogs Go to Heaven too, and he was also in Children of the Corn five. And he was in Child's Play 2, and he was in Kindergarten Cop, in a P, and he was in, uh, 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 Under Wraps, you know, a Disney TV original movie. So, gosh dang it, support the kid and go out and buy that! Okay. I'm done. I'm done talking. Hope you enjoyed this video, and have a doggone good day. Bye-bye.